Hello everyone, I hope you all are good and welcome back to my channel. As you have already read the title, it says I'm going to live my dream life today. And you make sure that you see this video till the end to know what I exactly mean by I'm going to live a dream life, uh, dream life today. So I have already started my day with apple cider vinegar and uh, I have started reading this new book. It's called Anything is Possible, uh, written by Will Edwards and I'm hoping to read something new and positive to this book again. And I will share my experience of this book soon as soon as I finish reading this book. I am in the park I've started my first round already and my goal is to complete five rounds and that is around 7,000 steps so I'm hoping to do it um, in less time actually which will help me to burn more calories anyways uh, today is solar eclipse here it has already started at 10 o'clock but most of the parts in England will not be able to see it because the weather in England is mostly cloudy uh, I could see a little bit of it uh, today at around 10 o'clock uh, it was a little sunny but again it's cloudy and uh, so I couldn't take it in my camera something similar I have seen in India in, in around November or in the starting of December 2020 where I could see a ring fire ring that is uh, when uh, moon comes in between the Sun and the earth and uh, and then the Sun appears as a uh, fire ring I'm going to finish my walk and then, uh, and then I'll cook some breakfast when I go home. It's time to keep my camera in my bag because I'm going to focus on my walk. I already completed 6,000 steps. I've just received a notification on my watch and I'm really really happy about it. I was a bit not sure to complete even fourth round. I kept thinking it's my third round and then I checked my watch and I got to know it's my fourth round and this one is my fifth round. So after a warm long week, it's such a windy day today and cloudy and I really prefer this kind of weather. I do like it when there is some sun outside and so I get enough light to do my vlog uh, but then I hate that weather I don't like it warm or hot or humid I like it when it's cloudy and it's windy and it's beautiful weather today I feel really fresh after the walk so everywhere it's green except for this tree it looks so beautiful And it's time to go home. Um, I guess I'm going to complete 7,000 steps soon in the next two three minutes, and I will be home. And I'm going to cook up here today. Uh, yeah, I haven't had it for a long time, and I want to introduce my friend to something, uh, some new dish today. I just have to wait for some time um well I just didn't have some coriander today 
otherwise it will give a nice flavor to our pear but all good because I'm not sure if my friends would like it and it's something they've never had before as I said I like to introduce new food to everyone and in England um, not many people know about Marathi food in fact they didn't even know what Marathi people are or where is Maharashtra or any such thing they just know India and some popular places like Mumbai and Kashmir and Punjab and uh, Kerala all just they just know it by names uh, they have no idea what Marathi is what, what Gujarati what Sindhi what Punjabi all that thing and of course me being Marathi I can only cook Marathi food I cannot cook any fancy other dishes so um, when I cook Marathi dishes uh, it's something really fancy for them so let's see it smells nice and I guess it won't take much time yeah it's it looks good it's just not even 10 minutes and uh, it's time to turn them wow just overcooked little burn but still good no problem i've just turned them and uh, just five more minutes and it should be ready to eat Well, I just finished my work and it's a break time. I just got myself tea and I'm going to eat some um, oppe that I have made. And uh, that's it. This was my dream life. Yes, this was my dream life. Uh, well, the kind of lifestyle I have lived throughout my life has been a little disciplined. Um, for me, I really like going out, visiting different places, trying out different restaurants and making vlogs. and. Uh, experiencing different things and I I end up I wake up every day and I have new goal to learn new things so all that is okay but I like to do all of that when I have finished my routine I really like to be in routine uh, for me dream life is according to my priorities as well as the uh, lifestyle I had for, for a long time was to wake up early to go for a walk or do any kind of exercises and then cook healthy food, eat healthy food, and do your work on time, and uh, uh, practice piano, and uh, and then after following all this routine, then I like to uh, go out visit different visit different places, experience different things, uh, learn something new. So for me, my dream life is what I have lived today. Um, why I just said that um, I'm going. Why my title says that. Um, uh, living my dream life for one day is because uh, it's not it is not impossible it's difficult but it's not impossible uh, but yes um, I'm a human being and I find it difficult to, to do all these activities in one day uh, winning your mind winning over your mind is really really difficult and um, I I hope and I wish and I'm trying my best that I uh, complete all these activities every day in my life and to follow this routine and uh, there's something I read in one of the book few few months ago I don't remember the author and also the name of the book uh, where I was really convinced with this idea where the author said that uh, your willpower will never lead you to success but your habits will now what I have understood with this based on my experience and when I use these things in my life and how I'm convinced that willpower will not lead you to success but your habits will is uh, for it I would just like to give a few examples for example if you plan to go for a run or jog uh, early morning every day that's your willpower that's that's pushing you to do something that's uh, uh, that's good for yourself and then uh, you plan you set up an alarm and uh, uh, the first day you plan you end up waking up and you go for a job and you come home and you feel really good throughout the day thinking that okay I planned something and I'm able to do it 
the next day you set up an alarm you are able to get up uh, you are able to wake up go for a run and then uh, you come home and you feel extremely proud of yourself that okay you have planned something and you are able to do it after few days uh, there's something uh, some other activity comes in your life uh, maybe you have to go for a work early or um, or similar kind of thing and then you set up an alarm a bit earlier than you usually do and then then you say that okay i'm not going to wake up uh, today let it be let's just go tomorrow i have extra work today so let's just postpone it it's okay for for one day to not to go or to miss the run and then the whole day you end up feeling quite empty and that you have missed something um, and you couldn't be consistent then you say okay it's okay for one day we'll plan it again for next day with the help of will power again you set up a alarm clock uh, the alarm clock goes off and then then again you say that okay i'm a bit tired today let's not go let's go next day and this way your will power has failed you you don't you're not confident anymore you have made up your mind that okay every day i i think about every every night before going to bed i think about going for a run but i'm not able to do it so forget it let's not do it that's what will power does to you now what happens with the habits is like i will give you a few examples for example you wake up every day uh, but you make sure that you brush your teeth you fresh them up you take shower you wear clean clothes and you start your day with uh, coffee or tea that's your routine you've been following that throughout your life and uh, there's no way you will skip it you might skip it for one day or two days but then you make sure you always do it but but you're always doing it there's hardly any day you miss this thing now this is because it's your habit so even if you someday you wake up late you still brush your teeth you still wake up brush your teeth fresh them up um, take shower wear clean clothes and um, have your coffee and then you start your you start your day so no matter at what time you wake up you still have these habits and you continue doing it throughout your life so that's what habits does to you so when i read that book and this few things the author uh, author suggested where you can add important activities in your life and make them habit so you don't need any will power you just end up doing it so for example when i decided to go for a walk uh, i didn't fix up any time i didn't say that okay i'm going to go at 5 o'clock no i'm going to go at 6 o'clock i didn't do that i, I just took it easy i said that, i said that no matter what time but i will make sure that in a whole day's time before going to bed i'm going to walk for 20 minutes so that can be early morning afternoon evening after coming from work by any time but i'm going to make sure that i'm going to add one of this activity now this is less stressful so i woke up i um, so one day i woke up i brushed my teeth fresh them up got ready wore my clothes i had a cup of coffee and said okay I have a lot of time in my hand for now. Uh, I can just go for a walk for 20 minutes and then I can continue my other activities. I did that for one day. Next day I went for a walk uh, in the evening time. After that some day I managed to go in the afternoon time and it became a habit. I started going for a walk every day. So now when I wanted to so that becomes that became a habit no matter at what time I wake up no matter what I, no matter what I do I ended up going for a walk. because i didn't pressurize myself i didn't make it stressful i just made it a habit and uh, so when this thing became a habit going for a walk um i was confident i was consistent and when i wanted to add another activities another activity in my day it was easy for me to squeeze it somewhere so i decided okay so as i had started going for a walk let's start including reading in your daily activities So when was the best time to do it was to read to start reading before going to bed. I didn't pressurize myself. Before going to bed I just read one page. Next day I read two pages. For a week I just read two pages. After after a week's time it became a habit. Now I can read like 30 pages, 40 pages uh, pages before going to bed and I I don't feel it stressful. I just do it. And then a day came when I said okay because i i would like to keep my night time free for myself let's 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 start feeding in the morning time when i have tea and i enjoy it 
So that's how I would say that my willpower is not leading me to success, but my habit is leading me to success. So that's it. Well, the only reason I decided to share this with you all is um, is not because I, I want to inspire someone. I'm not I'm not that experienced or I'm not a scholar or an expert to give you a philosophy lesson to anybody. Uh, all I wanted to say is that, uh, I, as I said, uh, sometimes maybe people might get motivated looking at my videos thinking that, okay, she has managed to push herself. Let's let's push myself as well let's try to do few things like her as well like when i look other people's videos it helps me to um, uh, push myself when i see someone is trying to do something i'm like okay that lady can do it um let's just try because she's just similar to me if she's managed to man if she's able to manage to do that thing i can do it as well in a similar way maybe there are other ladies or anyone any they see my activities maybe they will feel okay she is trying to do something in her life let's push ourselves as well so maybe people might get motivated by me but so that's not my objective my objective is to just let people know that the way i am struggling for me the struggle is i'm just trying to be consistent my struggle is to try to be fit to include exercise as a in my daily activity uh, to to include healthy eating habits in my daily activities uh, to practice piano every day uh, to be consistent and uh, to be punctual in the work I do so that's that can be a struggle for me I've been struggling with being consistent for a long time but I'm making sure that I do these activities every day every day and um, it, it's just not me alone but there are a lot of people who are struggling in their life all I wanted is to say that you're not alone I am also struggling. Some people are struggling financially. Some people have some pers personal relationship struggles. Uh, in the same way, some people might have same struggle stories like me. Like they want to reduce, or some people might reduce some weight. Uh, they want to uh, want to be active. Some people might want to start daily vlogging. So, so it, in the same way. I'm sure there are a lot of people just like me who are struggling in, in their own way and I'm sure that um, I will reach to those people in some or some way and um, uh, through maybe with the help of YouTube and I just want to let you all know that you're not alone we all are struggling and it's all it's all right to struggle and um, all I do is uh, make sure that no matter how low I feel how bad I feel how whatever I feel, I just complete my routine. I complete all the activities that I plan for a day, and that's it. At least I'm able to go to bed satisfied, thinking that okay, I didn't feel much better. I wasn't motivated, but I still finished my work, and that helps. Um, that helps you to uh, stay positive. So just stay positive, and um, I'll see you tomorrow again in my new vlog. In uh, I'm going to end my video here and uh, if you have watched my video till here make sure you uh, share like comment and subscribe my channel and uh, I'm going to end my video here as I said and I will see you tomorrow again so stay safe stay positive and see you tomorrow <laughs>